What up, boys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. This is BQ, and uh, it is the Impact Lounge. Number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. All right, so I got a couple minutes to talk to you guys real quick. This uh, this was from a couple days ago. We're going to take a look at the article here in a second. Eric Bischoff, um, someone who, you know, some would consider a, a great wrestling mind, but you know, um, and, and I don't want to take too much away from him, but I kind of put him in the same vein as a guy like Vince Russo, who I, who I, I'm actually, I do like Russo, but of a guy who probably fell into a little more uh, success via luck than actual knowledge and feel for the industry. Feel me on that. So he said a statement in an interview. Um, he's always had very negative things to say about TNA and his time there. Uh, forget the fact that they, you know, opened up the checkbook, but probably paid him a lot more than he was worth. Uh, he, he did play a role in, you know, really the downfall of the company. I'm not, not going to blame it on him. We're not going to blame it on Hogan. We're not going to blame it on Dixie, you know. But he played a role, all right? Uh, but with that being said, he's never had anything positive to say, regardless of what's going on over there. So he's not someone I enjoy listening to at all. It's one thing to be critical, and it's one to just hate everything. You know what I mean? So he made a comment, and it was regards because he was asked about, could WWE and AEW work together? You know what I mean? And then he was, uh, you know, brought up Impact and AEW work, working together. And he says, you know, does anybody give a fuck? You know, it, he says it's it doesn't, um, the ratings haven't improved for either company. You know what I mean? Now, keep in mind, he's a ratings dude, okay? He's a, he's a numbers guy. And I'll, I'll touch on that here a little bit more. But let's look at the article real quick. All right, so here we go. This is on WrestlingInc.com. There we go. Eric Bischoff on AEW working with Impact. Does anybody give a fuck? We're going to scroll down here. Punchable face. Um, he's talking about WWE, things of that nature there. Um, talking about Roman Reigns. And here we go. The conversation then flowed to AEW's current working relationship with Impact Wrestling. Bischoff didn't mince his words about the two companies partnering up over the last few months. I'm sorry, does anybody give a fuck? Bischoff laughs. I don't. And guess what? Just because I don't doesn't mean it doesn't make sense. But if you look at the ratings for Impact and you look at the ratings for AEW, I stand by what I said. Nobody gives a fuck. It hasn't changed anything. Strong words at the end saying it hasn't changed anything. That means you have all the information at hand. Alright, so as I was saying, he's a numbers guy. He's a ratings guy. He was, you know... Back in the Monday Night Wars and seven, eight, nine million and all that. Okay, we all know that TV is consumed differently these days. We know that. Here's the thing, though, because we don't see huge ratings increases. Granted, I, I will say it probably hasn't done for Impact what they have hoped. I, that's what I feel. But to say that the ratings haven't changed, this, that's not actually something we know because the chances of someone who are, who just really wasn't watching Impact you know, tuning in for a Kenny Omega segment or something like that. The chances of them being, oh, sh whoa, what's this must-see wrestling that I, I've been missing all this time? You know what I mean? If they said, okay, you know, I'm going to start giving Impact a chance, it most likely 90% of the time means, you know, we're going to throw it on the DVR. Maybe I'll download the Impact Plus and watch there. Kind of like, you know, with myself, I started, like, picking up on Ring of Honor a little bit again. I'm not going to watch as it, as it airs. That's just not going to happen. Um... But if, but if it's on my DVR and I get the opportunity, then I'll pop it in and I'll watch it. I'll pop it in like it's a VHS tape. But I'll watch it, you know what I mean? And, you know, the same with Lucha Underground and some other companies over the years. And even right now, I'm not watching NWA as it airs, and I've, you know, I've liked NWA. So if someone's coming over and say, okay, I'm going to give Impact a chance, it's probably going to be a DVR more, more likely than not. All right, so to, to ex expect the live numbers to really improve by that much... It's kind of it's it's a bit of a stretch. It improved for that one episode because they promised uh, answers from Kenny Omega and Don Callis that they didn't really deliver on. So now the next week they're like, okay, well this is not much must see. I'll watch the the highlights, but it doesn't mean more eyes aren't on the product, even if it's watching highlights, watching the bullshit YouTube channel, or watching some of the clips on Twitter and everything. All right, I've been thinking about this a lot lately, and I do think that when this whole uh, partnership came together I think impact and again I don't, I don't know this but I feel like they were like hey just give us Kenny Omega and then you can do whatever you want you can make fun of us 
you can uh, you know maybe throw us a bow in it with a wrestler here and there but just give us Kenny Omega and do whatever you want make fun of us uh, take the good brothers act like they're part of your company all, all this shit all right I think that impact said okay we got Kenny Omega on the show that's you know numbers are gonna go up but the problem is and and this is a lot of the problem has imp impact has had over the last couple years to where they bring in guys but they're they're clear to do indie work elsewhere you can, you can watch them on indies. You can watch them in other places. So you don't have to watch them in Impact. You know what I mean? Like Tessa Blanchard was the same. You could watch her on the indies all the time. So with that being said, Kenny Omega is still highly featured on AEW. Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers as a team are highly fe featured on NEW, AEW. I don't want to say NEW. AEW. So why necessarily go watch the Impact product? You know what I mean? So I think that uh, they need to sit back down at the table and figure out figure a few things out. But... Uh, let's just, you know, let's be optimistic on where that'll go. That's going to do it for me for right now. I'm BQ. This is the Impact Lounge. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.